plein de sang. Tu es Recording. Oh, we live. No, actually, I don't do. I should do it live. I, didn't, I, I see everyone else doing it. I should figure that out. Oh no, it was just the expression. I figured. We oh, would, oh yeah. actually, I uh, I chop it and edit it, but it it would be yeah. cool maybe to start going live. I I said that I was going to do the whole streaming thing and figure it out, but I haven't yet. I will soon though. Yeah, I think you. You could have fun with it too, because you do so much silly stuff with your backgrounds and your your green screen stuff and the videos yeah, you do. do. Had a green screen effect. Yeah, that's a, a cool. little live comedy hour. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Well, you're very versatile, so I w- I would like a as a fan of yours, I would like a variety show. A variety show, a hey, that's one. So of you can OG host it as shows. one guy. Yeah. And then come on, and it's like and then come the, back as an, the R the R and B guy yeah. with the one outfit. Then you ho- the yeah. host comes back, and then you come in MC, and then you the host comes back, and then you're doing stand up. Dude, that's a great idea. Word up, yo. Um, oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hip Hop Dad Show, and our guest today is Fuch. What up? Spelled F Y U with the two dots, like Hagen does, kind of. Those dots yeah, dots? German or something. What are those dots called? Umlau. That's what they call it. Ooh, umlau. Umlau. I like that. Uh, F Y U with the umlau T C to the H, yo. That's it. Fuge. Uh, to be on the Hip Hop Dad Show, you have to embrace hip hop culture, which he does. You have to be a dad, which he is, and you have to be a cool dude. Hey, so that's you the got trifecta. The, you got the 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 tri trifecta tri tricentennial. Is that a word? Tricentennial? It is. I think it means three hundred. Ooh, like Leonidas. Ooh. Hey, come on. My son's name is Leo, so <laughs> hey, it's just Leo. Leo. Okay, I was about to ask. I was like, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. But it's fun because then I call him Leonardo, Leonidas. I've called him Leotian. I call him um, Leopold. Yo. So because he has a short name, his nickname can be longer. That's dope. He has like, seven longer nicknames. Yeah, you flip the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he's a silly guy. What's the, the name of your sweet child? Aura. The name came yes. from her mom's sister. She had a dream Word. that we named her that, and we were trying to think of names. And when we heard that, it was like yes. That's, that's a good name. Definitely it. Yeah. That's a good name. And also shouts to Mixed Babies. What up? Right, right. Represent. Never that's saw right. that happen in my trajectory, but it that's happened. It. And she's nice. shining. Yeah. So what happens is um, you know, you mix races and then your kid turns out looking Dominican. It is what it is. It is what it is. Puerto I Rican. noticed that off top, especially living Cuban. in the Dominican neighborhood, right. Yeah. They was asking me, like, that's your baby? I'm like, yes. And yeah. it doesn't matter who I walk with, like, of any race. They think that if I'm walking with a woman, especially if she's lighter than me at all, they think it's our child. That's, yeah, I have, uh, my nieces are half Filipino, half white. And when uh-huh. we take them on adventures with my daughter, everyone thinks they're sisters and we're the parents. It is what uh-huh. it is. Yeah. We're all pink on the inside. Humans, baby. <laughs> Yo, you know, baby. You know Ronald Reagan has like a legit speech back in the day where he's talking about world peace will come finally. He thinks when we get visitors from another world. He said that. Is this in his presidential days or is this like the actual? Oh yeah. Days? Oh wow. No, for real. Yeah, like like president times. He pretty much like he didn't even beat around the bush the way he said it. He was just like, I think that's when we're gonna finally come together. And he knows. And now uh, he he's know. saying, I guess it didn't work. Because they know. We, we've oh, had I mean, the aliens, the aliens were thinking about invading, and they were like, it's a mess down there. Let's wait yeah, a little like, bit. Uh-huh. Let's see what happens, because this is a little too nutty. They saw District 9, and they were like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they know where our, our head is at. They're going to turn what, what movie? Uh, What was the Attack from Mars? Bro, that movie is such a classic. That mug is hilarious. <laughs> That mug is hilarious. You're a you're a transplant of New York. You've been yeah, you've yeah. Met, you're a man of many places. Where uh, where did you start off? Like 
I came from uh, Nashville, Tennessee, where I was okay. at from about eight years old until 2015. But I was born in Gary, Indiana. Whoa, Gary, Indiana, like like Larry Bird? Is I'm Larry Bird from there? I don't know if Larry Bird from there. I, mean, I know uh, <laughs> MJ is from there, Michael Jackson, his whole family, and Glenn Robinson, MJ, if you're talking yeah. sports. Glenn Robinson. I remember a show tune. It was like a... Yeah, One yeah. Of those musicals, Gary Indiana, Gary Indiana, Gary. Indiana. From um, the Music Man. The Music Man. There you go. Yeah. You should sample that. I was thinking about it when I was like 15, and I guess I've just forgot about it since then. Because think about it, technology wasn't there. Yeah. Like I couldn't. I had an idea, and I was like, "Yo, that would be dope if I took it and flipped." There was like mm -hmm. no way unless you had like five thousand right, like five thousand bucks to just to, buy to, to do yeah. it. Uh huh. So Indiana to Nashville, Nashville to New York, or is there anything in between? Nothing in between. Nothing in between. How long have you been in New Yorker? 2015, so it'll wow. be five years next month. Five years next month, yes. Okay, shouts to my man Quintavious. How many years do you think it takes to be a New Yorker? As everybody's got a different idea. I don't want, I don't, I can't put a number on it because yeah. I feel like it's more experience based in my opinion. That's some people say a hard 10, like you need at least 10 years of whatever. Yeah. I think people live there for three years and go and in that three years, yeah, they meet a, a beautiful girl. They get in a fight with a homeless guy. They go to the, the Eastern Parkway, the West Indian parade. Yeah. They eat seafood at like City Island in the Bronx, that ill little like fishing town. I don't know if you ever heard of that place. Yeah, I went to City Island. City Island's crazy. Or yeah. they go to they go to two Little Italy's in one day. That's a New York yeah. thing. You know, I'm gonna go to Little Italy yeah. in Manhattan and then go to Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. I feel like if you you smash out a bunch of New Yorky stuff and like yeah. you know go to I like a Russian nightclub. Oh see, I ain't done that. Everything yeah. else I was like for the most part. I don't know if I'll self-proclaim, but I'll, I kind of feel like it, but I'm just keeping it to myself. I think you, I, when I met you, I could hear your accent. I was like, he's, he has the accent of another, a guy from somewhere else, but you yeah. felt like you were, you were embedded in the whole everything of, of that's it. What's up. So that's, that's uh, what's to up. me, New York, you know, back in the day was people from everywhere. So you can't, yeah. I would never get mad at someone that wants to move there and stake their claim. It's true. You know, I moved to a new city and I'm all I'm always repping Brooklyn, but I like love where I live now. So I'm always also saying Stockton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when as a young child, what like did you listen to or see of hip hop that you were like, what ooh. is this? Where you ooh. were like, ooh, I want to do that. Man, crisscross, jump, jump, wow. Mac Daddy, make you jump. It's the Mickey, the Mickey, the Mickey, the Mac Daddy. Like I'm talking about, had all the clothes on backwards. Yep. Tried to go to school like that. Mom yeah, was like, yeah. no. Um, I remember hearing songs that were sampled from R&B and not knowing that the hip hop version of that song was different songs. Like not being able to differentiate Big hear the Big loop. Papa versus you know the Isley Brothers between the sheets yeah, and, yeah. and literally hearing the sample and be like, oh, this is that song. And then it'd be the r and version. The right. And it never starts. So I definitely remember pretty early on, like Tupac, Biggie especially, and then just like Criss Cross. I will say those are probably my three Criss Cross. Yo, shouts to uh, Jermaine Dupree was making hey Jermaine hate, Dupree. Too. I used to and think he the, was young the brat too. was the best too. Functified, bro. Functified is a good song. Yeah. And she could rap. Um, so then at what age were you starting to dabble where you were like, I want to write rhymes and I want to like make music? I always spoke a lot and used words well, but I didn't really try to rap around people until seventh, eighth grade in middle wow, school. Wow, that was earlier than me. I was not till high school. Oh, okay. That I had any courage or any like thought to do that. Do you mm. apply some of the four elements of hip hop to your dad dad dadness? Ooh. I I mean I, I know you do because I I watch your videos like I see how you yeah interact with your daughter and like she does music with you. You just put a song out about her which is amazing. So, so what do you mean like teaching her the elements or literally using that as my parenting style? 
Yeah, exactly. Like I'm not. Uh, I don't mean like how you have a whiteboard and you're like, Cool Herc was the first. Like you're not yelling at me. <laughs> I mean like Sedgwick Avenue today. We're yeah. going. Like get your juice box. Yeah. Grandmaster Flash. <laughs> um, yeah, more like when you're doing like for me when I do coloring time with my daughter. Yeah. And like arts and crafts. A bunch of her books have graffiti. Like she colors graffiti letters. Got it. And we go to like dance. I take her to like little acti- like before COVID dance events. She was like, there's a lot of DJs and she's just like wilding out in the side. I frame. saw some clips. She was like uh, breaking basically. Like at, at some just of letting them. Letting it loose. Yeah. Just letting it's it like, loose. Go ahead. I feel like most would dance. Like I'll definitely throw on some tunes and we'll get down. Dance party? Do you ever like, yeah. I, I love your freestyling. Have you ever like taught her a quick lesson and just like did a little hook for her? Well, yes. So yes, because now she freestyles, bro. And it's not rapping, she freestyles scenes. So she'd be like, we're going through the store, we're about to get something. Like, she'll think of it. And I'm like, I definitely been doing that. And I didn't even realize it. And then I do have like a little controller, DJ controller, and I've just been showing her for fun. That's fine. Just to throw stuff on, yeah. Um, We got a little keyboard with a mic. Yeah. So this is what I was asking you if you had a shaker, like, when she's uh-huh. kind of not listening, if I if I flip it on her and I'll just be like, Sully, you got to eat a snack. Then you got to take a nap because you need some rest. So you can go back outside and have energy. That's the best. I said, Sully, Sully, Sully. Yo, you got to eat a snack. And then, yo, you got to take a nap so that you can get rest. Because that's the best that you can play outside. And then that's I dope. Sit, just, I'll just make it up. But then she's like, yeah. Then she'll grab one of her little eggs and she'll start doing it. Mm-hmm. And then I switch her little brain. Early on, I started taking her hands and doing drum rhythms because I want her to be rhythmically dope. So I'll just do like and then that's why I got her to bongo. That's why she do all the stuff. Cause it's like above all else, I want her to be able to hear in between the rhythm, manipulate the rhythm, whatever else. Yep. And what grows out of that, cool. I have no expectations, but sure. She might be the next Sheila E. <laughs> Glamorous. You know life. what? You know what? Very high key. I do want her to be a drummer. Hands That's down. Sick. I yeah. do. I do feel have... like when she get 14, 13, whatever, like if she can really throw down. Because in my band, our first drummer was 12 when we were 16. And Whoa. he was damn, his family was heavyweights. Whoa. So he was cold at like eight. He was like playing with at church and stuff. So I, I want her to do that. And then, um, then, but then she'll also be able to sing and drum at the same time. And then people will start calling her Jill Collins. She'll be like, eh, eh. Because eh, of like, what? I've never heard of Jill Collins. That's that's the name of a singer and a drummer? And I made that up. I just, because oh. I always, as a kid, was like, how does Phil Collins sing and drum at the same time? <laughs> okay. Possible. Okay. Daron does that. I can't yeah, fathom. He, that's he really raps. That's how do you, really you got the bongos handy? Yeah, I do. Oh snap. Let's get a little bongo conga dad freestyle. You start and then I'll, I'll I'll jump in with this. From chunks like Tonka, drums like conga, hit it like bomba. Where you at? Let's go. Sick flow, gotta hit him with the paradiddles. Trying to teach her rhythms ever since she was little. Dippity gong dumb with the drum drum. Take it back just like Chris and Cross with the wiggity whack. I'm trying to do it at the same time like Deron. I don't know, it's kind of hard though. Uh. Uh, it's kind of hard though. It's kind of hard though. We so smart, yo. We having fun, yeah. We got the dad swag. When I was young, I used to wear a mad plaid and stripes, yo. Yo, yo, I like to freestyle to my daughter. I like to sip water. I still have my accent from Brooklyn. Yo, I'm a chef and I'll be cooking. Oh, do you cook for your kid? Yes, I've got good, bro. <laughs> I've gotten so good. Every couple months, I add like a new ingredient. Yes. Literally 10 years ago, all frozen food, every sure. single bit. So about the past five years, I've slowly added foods. I went to the grocery store today. I was so proud of myself, bro. I got mangoes, avocados, mm. broccoli, you know mm. what I'm saying? Red peppers. Oh, like, mm. look at me. It used to be mm. straight frozen pizzas, Tyson chicken, uh, just okay. whatever, which is straight. You know, you got to stretch out your pinch. meals. You got to have that stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I can help, especially since we've been at home, I've been just looking up different recipes. That's it, bro. I started using garlic for the first time, man. That's how, mm. like, much of a newbie I am. 
but it's like I'm just excited. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm yeah. Buy some garlic cloves. Chop Word. them. Up, Do it yourself. Stuff. Yeah, it's like okay. Yeah. Garlic's I mean, a garlic's a big part of Puerto Rican food, so I've I've been around it. But I see yeah. what you're saying. For a little while, I was getting the one in the jar to scoop out. Then there's yeah, like a yeah. toothpaste one. Yeah. And like you squeeze out, and that's easy. But then I look at the side, and it's yeah. xanthan gum and preservatives. I'm like, yeah. Just... I got mm. the time. Chop it up. I got the time. Chop it up. Yeah. Uh, can we talk about before we head out? Uh, can you talk about? Because I also wrote a song about my daughter, but it was when she was in my the wife's belly. That was my perspective. Same. That's the perspective of this one. Oh, sick. It just took me forever to get it out because the producer kind of went MIA for a while. It happens. It happens. Yeah. But, yep, you know, yep, yep. we rolling with it three years after. She about to be three. But I think it's cool because it's like now she my mindset it. was in. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I added her voice to the beginning of it. Like, Daddy, Daddy, oh, play yeah. my song. Oh, like, yes. that's sick. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You remember that Will Smith, Just the Two of Us joint? Of course. of course. Yep. So when he had one of his sons on there, I was like, I'm going to do that. That's fast. That's fire. I think I just said that's fat. This is 1994. <laughs> Hello. Um, but it worked. I have a question about your, R your R&B skills. Yeah. Because um, I, when I first met you, I just, you, you were winning like freestyle contests. And I was like, this guy can rapidly rap. Like really rhyme. Like, this guy's a good you. rhymer. But Thank then... You. When I started watching your videos, I would notice that your melody is very clean. There's a lot of, I don't, I'm not trying to poop on anybody, but there's a lot of MCs that they try and sing and yeah. then you can hear that they're trying to sing. Yeah. Forgetting that they have, your, your voice has a natural melody. Thank you, man. And I get a little cringy when I hear some guys get melodic on their hooks and they're trying to do this with R&B. Mm -hmm. And it's like, eh. But your melodies and you're like, I was like, oh man, thanks, bro. I this is like, a, <laughs> this is butter. Nice. The other stuff I sounds like, like margarine. This is real butter. <laughs> Mantequilla. So, uh, when did you or did you always have the R and B twist? Yeah, I think I always. When I started rapping, I started singing at the same time, kind of. Singing I just or had singing. A, singing. I wasn't I wasn't hanging yet. I won't yeah, say that. But yeah, no. um and then I did take a vocal lesson in college. Oh, I just okay. always been around a lot of music. So it's like whatever yeah. is musical, I'm gonna try it. Cause I started playing cool. saxophone, played keyboard, played a little bit of bass. I would sing hooks and try to get singers to do it. But honestly, bro, like I haven't been that confident about my voice until people kept telling me, like, nah, you you good. So I think yeah. getting confident in my voice is like in the past few years I've been singing more on records and you just could, trying stuff. If someone hears you nail a hook on one of your rap songs and be like, you could do that for the whole song do and that. it wouldn't it'd be pretty good. Exactly. Pretty good, pretty good. Exactly. Um, I feel like I'd like to see you loop one day. What do you mean? Looping, cause you do, cause you can play a few instruments oh, and rap yeah. and sing. And stuff. It would be cool to see you with a loop machine. What you could do, that would be if, dope. even if it's all improvised. Because uh, some of my favorite loopers, that would be dope. Uh, Reggie Watts, mm -hmm. my buddy Beater from Iceland. He lives in Norway. Okay. There's a guy from England called Beardy Man. He's nuts. Mm -hmm. Check out Beardy Man. He's an amazing looper. And then there's that weird, funny comedian looper, uh, Mark. I know Lee. exactly what you're talking about. He's with the glasses. Wild, he's bro. nuts. Yeah. yeah, he's nuts. <laughs> but I think when you have a multi-talented uh, array of things you can do, that's what helps you be a good looper. Because some loopers are Word. just beatboxers. Word. Uh -huh. No, but if you can put instruments too, it's pretty crazy. I received that thought, man. I never connected those two, and it's funny because I've told yeah. people they need to loop. But I've mainly told that to singers. I just never thought about that for myself. But I feel like now I would be so down for that. Because I'm up. a fan of making the one-man show as dope as possible. That's cool. Because I won't always be able to have a band. I won't always be able to be able to have a DJ. So how do we recreate That's true. that excitement of entertainment and keep it fresh? Yeah. This is a good segue into my next question. If the pandemic gets worse or it becomes like a zombie thing, post-apocalyptic times, <sighs> Internet's gone, power's out. Oh, damn. Feeding yourself, living off the land, fashioning weapons out of 
tools, keeping your daughter safe, that kind of world. Would you find a way to be some sort of like industrial, like raider kind of like nine inch nails, blue man group traveling musician? Like using steel oh, pipes. Oh, I see what you say. I like see what you say. You, <laughs> you murder raccoons and then make, you use the pelt and the skin to make your own bongos and you're just like still performing for people because they're like, don't kill me. I can, like, I can entertain you. And they're like, oh, he's dope. You feel me? Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, bro. Like survival first. Yes. But artistry is part of that survival. So Heck you yeah. got to eat to survive. You got to create to survive, bro. Yes. Because in Mad Max Fury Road, they had a guy yeah. attached to the car playing electric guitar. Uh -huh. You know, and it's like, you need troubadours. You need, like, old school pulling up with a wagon doing a puppet show would be fun, like a thing again. Mm -hmm. You know, when you pull up with the wagon and all the kids are sitting in a circle and you're doing a ill puppet show. Yo, that's crazy, bro. I, know I feel exactly like guys like us... That's our lane. It's just funny that you took it there because <laughs> even though you joke it, like you dead serious. Like, oh yeah. If this happened, like that's exactly what it would be. I Heck can tell. Yeah. Cause you when you started tired. off, I was like, ah, oh, okay. Oh, we going there. We <laughs> we taking it there to the end one, of the world. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, one of the greatest medieval rap songs is Slick Rick. He has a song called Who Rotten Them. Uh-huh. It's my favorite story rap of all time. Is that on the first album? No, it's on the okay. Def Jam uh, Art of Storytelling one. Okay. Like the newer, late 90s one that like has like Outkast, uh, Big Boys on it, whatever. Cannabis okay. is on it, Nas is on it. He, This song is wild, bro, because he, he's in medieval times mm -hmm. and he's a, he's like a surf. Like the, the, the dudes come around looking for, what's that called when like the people have to give them money or will like chop your head off? Like you have to pay the king a little bit of money. I will protect you. Kind of like- I don't know, but somebody about taxing. Yeah, basically mobs. So, yeah, yeah, coming around for the taxes. And then they hear him rhyme and they're like, yo, the king would like this. This is all in a rap. He brings them to the, they bring him to the king. He, he yeah. rocks, he rhymes for the king. And then they're like, yo, he's so dope. And he starts to get like, he gets to move his parents into like a nicer place. He gets nice clothes and he starts to build his like his status uh -huh. from peasant to like ill performer for the king. It's a crazy Did he, did he drop a video thing. for it? Did he drop a video? No. I've so always It's wanted... all visual. Oh it's man, nuts, that's dude. dope. Yeah. That's why he the truth, bro. An animator would, would do a sick would cartoon for him. One yeah. day, one day. One day. That's all um, you, man. You gonna pick up yeah. an animation in the uh in the pandemic? No, I'm I'm trying to invest in it because I want to yeah. do Rhymosaurs cartoon, right. which mm -hmm. when when it's I have lofty goals when it's what's on on Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network one day, I'm definitely gonna tap in and have you go help Ghostwrite. That's what's uh, up, bro. Yeah, Four yeah. Elements, Dinosaurs, you know, kind of TV mm -hmm. show. I see That's it one up. day, one day. What um, do you have any last words about new projects before we say goodbye? I was gonna put out an album, but I don't think people are ready. I've just been putting out singles, so I'm putting like out a single every two months. And I just started like producing heavy again. Like I was working on music all day today, so I got some lo-fi joints about to come out, doing some remix joints, just to keep myself busy in between my actual songs. You sent me some tracks for the beginning and the end. Can you send mm -hmm. me some of the lo-fi ones? I'll have them play lightly in the back cool. while, we're, while we're yapping. I'll do that. Yapping and rapping. Tapping and snapping. Flapping and crapping. Slick ricking and tricking. <laughs> Tripping and chopping. Tropping? Dropping. Dadding and padding. Playing Madden with Adam? Sure. Uh, <laughs> allure. <laughs> that was great. The Madden reference uh, was great. Yeah, yeah, I hate that game. I suck at it. I was I, never I like good it at if it. I was good. Yeah, I would like it if I was good. NFL Blitz. That was fire. NFL Blitz. And there was another NFL when I used to be real good at on Dreamcast. The, the street one, right? Dreamcast. Nah, not the street no, no. one. Uh, no. I like NBA those kind Street of though. I was on I was good on NBA Street. I'm older fella. I was an NBA Jam guy. 
NBA Jam. He's on fire. He's on fire. Yeah, yeah. they did like upgrades to it, but I had the original one. Yeah. Uh, and the arcade, so. I still yeah, got man. a Genesis. Whoa. I need to play that. Yeah. Um, I want to hear some of those lo-fi beats too. I, I'm, I, it's kind of my jam right now. Word. I've been noticing. It's funny because that's like what I came up on younger and I'm like, people like this? It's, it's coming back in a major way. All it right? just had a resurgence. Like, yeah. a lot of my producer friends went back and had to change their hashtags and their numbers went up because they've been making that kind of music mm-hmm. and then it became trendy. So I, you'll go to a random person's house or go to a meeting and they're mm-hmm. just playing those little lo-fi beats in the background. And I'm like, mm-hmm. you need to turn this off. I have to rap. I need to rap to this. Turn the music off. Stop playing instrumentals. Right. Like, that's a that's Don't a field. That's like a football player who sees a field ready. Like, yeah. when we hear a lo-fi beat, we like, we strapped up, we ready to go. Bro, I've been in so many weddings and, like, uh, dining halls and, like, you know, mm-hmm. events where you're going to see family and you go to wash your hands and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, in the bathroom. And you're like, damn, mm-hmm. this is fire, actually. Yeah. Yep. I miss going out and seeing other humans. <laughs> Bro, I just got back in town. If it wasn't for that, I feel like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wild in New York, right? Yep. Yeah. Good luck, right sir. Thank you. Stay We're going to break safe. it out. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. Good to see you, my guy. Peace out, bro. Hip Hop Dad Show. Peace. Peace. Oh, oh, oh. And it's time for me to get focused Instead of just setting goals Be grounded in what's important That's family being present Time don't ever go 